Okay, so actually making publication grade regression tables. Here we go. So we're normally combining multiple different regression models into a single table. We rarely make a table of just one regression. So today I'm gonna to make a table with three regressions. Uh, I'm gonna call these three, uh, uh, I'm gonna save these three regressions into these objects, model one, model two, model three. That's where the results of the regressions are gonna go, right? All the coefficients, the standard errors, all that information. So the first regression is just gonna be predicting female educational attainment only using the independent variable of interest, subtax here. Then I'm gonna add in the second model. I'll keep subtax, of course, but I'll add in controls for state provincial elections, the wealth of the country, whether the country is a democracy at the national level. Um, and then this third uh, regression, I'll keep all of those and I'll add in an extra control for the level of uh, urbanization, what percentage of the, of the population of this country lives in cities. Okay, so I'm adding in a few controls. Uh, I'll go ahead and run all these regressions, create these three objects, right? And these regressions run super fast. Uh, because they're linear models, they're not a complicated sort of maximum likelihood function, and because these, this data set is not super large. Okay, and so if I want to use the stargazer uh, command, right, to actually make this table, uh, the things I need to feed the stargazer command are the names of the regressions I want to stitch together. And I could do this with 10 regressions, I could do this with two regressions, right, or just one, right, but I'll tell it which ones I want. So mod one, mod two, mod three, those are my three regressions type uh, HTML, right? So I can either uh, kick this out as a uh, tech. I mean, I can kick this out in a few different formats. In the lab, we'll either use tech for a paper that's being written in LaTeX, or we'll use HTML for a paper that's being written in Microsoft Word. Um, so you'll choose your type, um, HTML, you'll, um, and then you're gonna say, well, where do I wanna save this table? When I'm making this table, where do I wanna put it? Um, I've already set my working directory to the training data folder. Um, so we're starting there, and I'm going to say within that training data folder, put it in the subfolder training output, and then call it subtax underscore ed underscore bg with today's date, right? So I have my initials, and I have my date, and I have today's date uh, in that output, um, you know, which is, which is key for organization for collaboration, right? So let's go ahead, uh, do this. Hooray, we just made our first regression table in R, but what does it look like? Well, let's go, let's go navigate over there and take a look at it. Um, so, you know, I already had this set to the training output subfolder and here's my new uh, HTM. It's gonna open, if I just double click, it's just gonna go ahead and open it in a web browser. But if you go to like Microsoft Word and insert uh, an, a file, an object from a file and go grab that, it'll, you'll see it shows up really nicely in an editable format in a Word doc. Um, but I'll just open it in a browser for now so we can see it. So the first column is gonna be mod one, the second column will be mod two, third column will be mod three. You'll notice like, you know, it's got the variable names over here, which aren't super easy to read, and the DV name here, you know, it's not, we're not quite all the way to publication grade here, right? So we need to, you know, these are just kind of the default settings in Stargazer, so we need to feed Stargazer a little bit more information to get this table to be publication grade. Um, okay, let's go do that. So let me go back into our studio here. And I've got a little bit more complicated model we're gonna run here, or a more complicated command, right? I'm gonna tell Stargazer a little bit more information about what I want in this table. So I'm still gonna tell it mod one, mod two, mod three. So I'll still tell it what models to do. But I'm gonna give my table a title, Subnational Tax Authority and Educational Attainment, okay? Uh, I'm going to put a caption for the dependent variable. Um, it says DV colon. Secondary completion rate, females age 15 to 19, right? So that'll tell me what the dependent variable was in the model, tell my readers that. Uh, I'm gonna label each of the covariates. So, um, and now this can be easy to mess up because, um, you know, so these things are listed down the left in the order that, um, that they're showing up the model. But if you make a typo here, it's not like there's some magical mapping. You know, you can, you can mislabel your, uh, your independent variables pretty easily if you're not paying attention. So, so do be careful with this uh, covariate labels uh, part. You gotta pay, make sure you're map, you've got these in the right order. Um, okay, and then I like to label, there's a note down at the bottom that says like, okay, one star is significant at the 0.1 level, two stars at the 0.05 level, three stars at the 0.01 level. I like to actually label that note as significance levels. You don't have to do that, but, but I like to, um, Again, type HTML and where we're gonna put it and what we're gonna call it. I'm just gonna overwrite uh, the table we just made. Okay, 
Let's do a slightly fancier version of this. Let's go look at the slightly fancier version here. It looks like it's still saving. Come on, there we go. All right. So now I've got a slightly prettier table here, right? I actually have a title up here, a better label for what the dependent variable is, right? And I've got, um, you'll notice that these models are a little bit stretched out because I have such a long DV label on here. That's what's kind of stretching things out here. So I might want to think about making that shorter. Maybe I overdid that, right? Um, I now have significance levels uh, down here. Sometimes we'll add extra notes to the table that sort of provide some additional details about how the standard errors were calculated or things like this. Um, so this is a little bit still a little bit minimalist, uh, but it gives you the basic idea. There's a lot of different options uh, in Stargazer and you'll talk to your PI about, well, what's, what's all the information they want in the table? How do they really want this set up? Maybe you've got two different dependent variables like models one through three use one dependent variable and models four through six use another. And so you wanna have a DV label over here and a DV label over here, right? There's a lot of different flavors. We'll mess around with this, but I think for this video, just pretty simple, pretty to the point. Uh, and good luck doing this in practice.